Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. I am noticing the fountain at the threshold of Market Street. By the way, I'm holding a piping hot beverage that I have procured from the Cornerstone Market and Deli right over there. Also, the Christmas tree has been taken down. It has been unerected. Oh, that's warm. Game plan today, today's adventure, I'm gonna be going up and down, well, down 192, ending in St. Cloud at the last technical job where I was punching a clock and I'm gonna just kind of share some memories I have been on a I've been a thought process since moving back to Central Florida and a nostalgia overload I have covered some of this before but it has been quite a few years and there were different subject matters this is just gonna kind of be a mishmash of all that in update if you will I'm inviting you to join me let's take a ride shall you you can see the water tower for Celebration Florida, which is my new neighborhood, poking up over the tree line there at the shopping plaza. Just across the way is the former Claremont Hotel, which I believe was called something different. And for a while, I worked at a pool bar back behind this establishment. I am basically going to be going by a few places I worked and lived from 91 till 2011. Kind of a 20 year retrospective, if you will. Yeah, there's the former pool right over there. Sometimes people will occasionally ask what I did before starting YouTube. What did I do? So I thought I'd clarify and showcase some of those things. Yeah, right over there you can see a window on that little, little shack. Let me zoom in. I would serve food, beverages, and just little snacks to guests that were staying here at this hotel. After they would get back from the theme park, swim in the pool. It was just a part-time. I had a lot of full-time jobs too, but this was a part-time job I did for a few years. It is kind of neat that everything that we'll be covering is right here on Highway 192, stretching from Kissimmee to St. Cloud. I'm not gonna cover it all, but uh, quite a few of the best of my memories. Can you spot the tree that's not really a tree? The one that's a cell phone tower. It's good to see that remnants of River Adventure Golf are still here. Light pole. Probably not going anywhere. I've passed by this quite a few times in the last decade or so. Even featured it in videos. But always nice to stop off another part-time job that I had. They have placed a fence up here since my last my last visit. Oh, the mailbox still there. Boy, it has grown up considerably since my day. I'd pull my car back in here. The lot was. Back there, also grown over with foliage. Over here was the Viking Motel. Same owners that also owned the miniature golf course. River Adventure Golf. Just the lights remain and maybe a few other items, but I'm not gonna be traversing over in there because there's probably alligators, snakes, a mosquito infestation as well as this little beauty. One of my many, many jobs. I did a lot of stuff before YouTube. A lot of places I worked. It's unusual, but when I started making videos, I had no idea that it would become a career or that you could even make money off of you know, doing what you're passionate about and just exploring, pointing, like I always say, I point out the obvious and talk to inanimate objects, give a little history. That's kind of the, the rundown of the way I describe my, my career now and what I do. Before that, it was all retail. If I was not, if this had not come along, the, the blessing and the, you know, what I am doing currently, I would be most likely stocking shelves at a grocery store like I was in the past. 2011, August 9th, 2011, I worked at a feed store. That was the that was the last place 
that I was at. We'd be doing something, something similar to that. I guarantee that's what I, not a really a, a big skill set and a lot of talents. I, I, I kind of played bass guitar in a few bands. I don't know if that would have paid the bills. So I probably would have gone back to, you know, working retail if I wasn't doing this. Pretty grateful to be doing what I'm doing and to have started on a kind of entry level of this platform and it worked out. If I hadn't started so early, I might not even be, the, you know, the early years of the development of YouTube. I wouldn't be as far along as I am now, so I'm, I'm grateful to have, not even have the wherewithal to just, to have taken that step forward. It, it, there, was, there was really nothing guiding me. I just felt like it was something I needed to do and made the right decision. And I'm pretty, pretty lucky to have done that. This apartment complex has gone through a series, a multitude of names over the past couple decades. And to be honest, I don't even recall what the name of it was when I lived here. But I do remember where my apartment was, right up here. Up there in that top corner, I go up those stairs every day. That was the porch. 2209, right there. Top one. For just over five years, and this was it was Office Max then. I think Office Depot has purchased Office Max or merged with Office Max. But I worked right in there. Good old Office Max. Did about everything you could possibly do. I didn't work in, except for Copy Center. I was cashier, worked in receiving, worked overnight stock. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of time spent in there. Stood right there at the front door on more than one occasion waiting for the store manager to arrive to open the door so I could go in and head to work. And just a few blocks away from there, when I lived in this neighborhood, which is known as Orange Gardens, I was always told it was one of the oldest neighborhoods in Kissimmee. Never confirmed that, but I heard it's one of the oldest, maybe one of the first neighborhoods. And I resided directly across from this home, which features a lot of Tonka trucks now. It's not this one, it's the one on the, the other side of the road. All these Tonka trucks were not here when I resided in this area. Look at that. That was where I lived. This is around the back side of the property. It was very short-lived, however. Only about a year I was in there. I wanted to come over from this angle to show that there, there were also neighbors on the opposite side of the fence of me. And these houses were torn down. Also over there was a Kmart, one of the two Kmarts I worked at. Occasionally they would send me to that one. It is closed down. The other one was a little farther down 192 at the corner of Simpson Road. But when I was in a band, there was a side room over here that I built well, I attempted to build a soundproof room so the drums could not be heard. It wasn't the best scenario, but it did kind of curb the, the sound a little bit. So people outside of the, out of the house didn't really hear it so much. This end was the garden center from that Kmart. Probably maybe, I only was here a few weeks on and off. And they would send me from the main store that I worked at for five plus years. And I didn't work in the garden center, so the, even the reason I'm showing this is from this angle. I'm not really sure why I didn't show the front door, but yeah, the front door was way on the other end. And if I remember correctly, they had a, a TLE, Tire Lube Express, well I think Walmart called it a TLE, Tire Lube Express, but an oil change center as well on this end. The reason I bring up Walmart is I work there. Speaking of places that have changed their names over time, this apartment complex over there. Not called the same thing. But the, on the far end, very top, last window in this building, top floor, was my room. And the little balcony has been fixed up quite a bit. Spent a lot of time with friends on that balcony. Maybe four, four or five years, about three or four years. I lived in that apartment. Cleaned this, they cleaned it up nicely. It was not as kept up when I resided here. New owners, 
new establishment. I'd go up that staircase and to my accommodations in that window. Look out that window all the time. My roommate at the time, Rob and I, we worked at the same place. That would have been Office Max. And on our days off, our two days off a week, we would stay up because we were used to working third shift. So we'd be up till, you know, 4 or 5 a.m. every day. And on those days off, we would walk up here to this 7-Eleven and get a press sandwich after play, playing Diablo all night long on PlayStation. We'd always make the walk to that 7-Eleven. Over in the corner of where that building is, well, the corner piece, a couple different storefronts was Video Center, a VHS-driven store. The owner did not want to transfer over to, Blue, uh, to DVDs, not even Blu-rays, so ended up closing. But he had a lot of great 80s movies. And I, I learned a lot from working there, from taking VHS, VHS cassettes home, watching them, also browsing through the, I believe it was called Movie Hound, which was a book. This is pre-IMDB, pre-the internet. And there was a book called The Movie Hound, a big, thick book that you could look up all movies. And me being a, a film nerd, I loved it. I loved browsing through the decades of history for the movies that he had inside Video Center. Worked here part-time while working other full-time jobs. It was located in that corner, right over there. Also, shout out to Coliseum of Comics, which also was in this little strip mall. It moved a long time ago. I'm gonna mention a, a very deep cut now when it comes to this road here on the corner of Den John. This far lane that I am in, see the light is all green, but back in the day, it was always a continuous green where the other ones, even though they turned yellow and red, wouldn't be. Happy to report that this development is still referred to and called Simpson Ridge Apartments. Oh, still has the speed bumps. Here's a photo of a much younger and more punk rock me. <laughs> and my broken down Ford LTD was in the spot that I am standing. And there are still plenty of geese and ducks around here. Yeah, even the, the backdrop of where the car was parked behind that photo. It sat right here. And they, they sent me a letter saying, if I do not have the car towed, that there would be ramifications and I would have to move out. So I had a, my first car I ever had, that Ford LTD. It had a different colored door than the rest of the car because I got in an accident and had to get a, another door from a junkyard. Sat right here for, for a couple months until tow truck showed up, removed the car, and as payment, they, they take the car for the payment of the towing. Uh, it was very broke back in those days. It's all coming back to me now. The car didn't run. It was, it seen better days, but it served me well. See those geese over there hiding in the shadows. A couple more walking across the way. That was my place right there on that corner. Right there. For a few years. Yeah, you guys don't like, you guys are like me. You like, you like being in the shade. You just you can't even really can't even really see it because you're are oh, you going out in the sun now? You're gonna brave the sunlight. All right, I'll see you later. I had some good times, some good times over there in the mid '90s. As fun as those days were, there were there were some tough times as well. It really did not have a lot of motivation. I had been working for a few years prior to that, and for about half of that year, I was unemployed, sitting around, doing nothing, unmotivated, and you know, pretty much a loser during that time frame. The girlfriend I had then, which was the first girlfriend I ever had, we lived together, broke up with me for valid reason. I really had nothing going on in my life. I thought, you know, it'd be really neat to just do nothing, sit around. It was a, a game changer 
with the way my, my, my brain works. If you don't do anything, nothing gets accomplished. You do not have an income that you can pay rent and bills. Yeah, that was, that was not a good time when it came to that subject matter, that, that point in my life. So I had to step it back up and, you know, take the bull by the horns, walk over to what is the Zenith Theater, not Zenith Theater, the Zenith Center now, which at the time was a Kmart, which eventually morphed into a big K, their version of Super Walmart. I worked here for half a decade, five years. And what happened over at, at Simpson Ridge really kind of changed the course of my life and, you know, co coming over to get the job here as well as this parking lot also served another purpose later when I stopped working again, but under different scenarios with, you know, self-employment opportunities being a little more vast as the internet progressed. I ended up moving into my van and did a video right here in this parking lot, van, quote unquote, van dwelling, which was, which was a game changer in my life. And it is why I am at the point now and have the opportunities that I have now was based on that decision as well. So a lot of, a lot of history of Adam the Woo here in this parking lot and right over there. Simpson Ridge Apartments, Kmart. Life's funny the way things happen. Pulling into St. Cloud now, passing the Walmart that I also worked at. And the Publix, well, it's not a Publix anymore, but it was over there. It's now a gym on that side of the road. Worked there for a few years. As well as behind that Dunkin' Donuts is a staple and an Aldi now. Staples and an Aldi now. But it was a Winn-Dixie back then. Worked there as well. Yeah, a lot of retail. It was at a lot of retail spots. Where this boat shop is used to be a cabinet shop. I only, only worked there about six months. Give or take, I knew nothing about carpentry, so I was laid off. Yeah, there's another one. On August 9th, 2011, I quit the last job I ever had working for someone and became self-employed. The hay trailer used to sit right here. It has since changed hands. It's no longer the same business. But this is the building. It's a different feed store. It was a another named feed store but they closed down and this place took over there it is right there the last job i ever had august 9th 2011 was the last day i had promised myself not to go back in and say hello to everyone i worked with until i made enough on this platform that i did working there and by the time that happened i had kind of forgotten and then they closed so never never fulfilled that end of my thoughts taking this little shortcut walking through this alley and I turn the corner and it will be the apartment I was living in, the last apartment I had before moving, quote unquote, into my van and traveling and going full time here on the YouTube platform. Oh yes, memories are flooding back. I know I've covered a whole lot of this over the last 10 years, you know, in small portions, but it's always good to, to kind of rehash and not forget your roots and you know over time people people will hop on the channel that might not know a little bit of history it's always fascinating to some and good to keep it fresh in my head but this metal door here was the entryway into my apartment there are two different ones up top it looks like they're both for rent the top two windows on this side Maybe even the three, but this was my room right here. And my van would always park where that car is. Right there. I could be incorrect. The two far windows do not have a for rent sign. So that apartment is occupied. My former apartment is occupied. Gave it many hours of thought, well, days of thought, weeks of thought about selling all my possessions, starting to travel around my van. I made the right decision. Didn't know what I was doing, but looking back hindsight, 
it was the right decision. That's gonna do it for today. Just a little step back in time, a little wrap up, a little update. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. It helps keep you in the loop and up to future uploads here on this channel. If you enjoyed this particular episode, give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know you care. My only advice is if you have a passion to do it. I do not have the answers. What I did might not work in this day and age, nor did I even think I would be successful or know there would even be something to be successful at with what I did. But it's fun to look back. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over. I cannot even count the amount of times I opened that door and sat right there on that planner, contemplating life, thinking about my future, if what I was doing at the time, the current time, was what I was destined to do forever. I've always done a lot of thinking and continue to. This was just one of the many spots I did that. The clouds look pretty neat today.